Looks dodgy. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, back end slipped a little bit. That's okay. Okay, time for some more back roading. There we go. Dodgy loose gravel curve going uphill. Let's just lean forward a little bit. Lean out a little bit. I'm just going to go easy. Remember, baby steps. Oh yeah, some nice scenery. Nice road. Could have droned here too, I guess. Oh, it's probably going to find lots of places you could drone. Alright. So far, everything feels great on the gravel. Now, it's hard pack, I know. It's not the loose, dodgy stuff. But so far, yeah, it feels great. Feels good. Not feeling like too much of a problem. So here I know there's a few back roads around here, but if you go way south on 11th line, it gets uh, to a nice, long, curvy, very gravelly back road session. So we're gonna check it out now. Right now it's pretty hard packed. And I'm actually driving on a section now that doesn't even have any gravel. It's just like hard road with the odd little piece of gravel. But I know it's gonna get more gravelly soon. Try coming down here after they just graded. Got some potholes to dodge. Doom, 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 doom. We're doing okay. Now I don't like the looks of this hill up here. I'm gonna get over. Oh yeah, there's our loose stuff in the middle there. Woo! Filter move. I don't really like driving on the right tire track on these roads because I don't know it just doesn't feel as nice and stable as the middle tire track. But if somebody comes flying over them roads, you want to be here, not there. So he's come flying over the hill, I mean. All right, so we got some some gravel. We got some potholes. Potholes. Well, uh, nobody coming, so I'm gonna get over. Nobody behind, nobody ahead. It's all good, all good things. In that conservation area there. There's some beehives and stuff in there. If I was in hiking mode, we could always stop there for a little hike. See, there's a secret little conservation area trail. And nowadays, after COVID and all that, you need to find more obscure places because the main places have got to be overcrowded. Anyway, I picked a good day to get my feet wet on this road because most of the gravel's been washed out. Now, I gotta be careful for oncoming traffic here. Gotta get over to the right. Ain't she pretty bumpy here? Let her go where she wants to go. Nobody coming. I suppose if the tires slip there and traction control sets in and then it cuts out all my power, that's the part people don't like. She's loose and bumpily. But they say just let it go, look ahead, just let it go where it wants to go. Let that tire move around a bit. Don't be afraid, don't fight it. So I'm not fighting it, to the best of my ability anyway. And I just kind of let it go, but I, I did slow down quite a bit. Just natural reaction when you don't feel steady, you want to slow down. All right, nice little bridge here. Geez, if only I had a fishing rod that collapsed small enough, you should stop at some of these little back road places. I don't know if there's any fish in that one. It's a pretty tiny little brook. Here we go. I don't know what's where it goes if you go straight. I always went this way and it went to the main road. So just because we're doing our virgin run today I'm just taking it easy like over that loose gravel there I I don't know how much it's got to slip if I just went quick I have no idea this is the Rockland Creek management area and again you can see there that's a path that goes to the beehives 
If you want to get stung, you can always come hang out here. Somebody's pulled over here for probably a little walk in the woods or whatever. Sometimes they forage stuff. But some nice hardwood. Nice little hardwood back road. I'm looking ahead, make sure no one's coming. It's all good, man. All good things. Ooh, super loose stuff. Oh, that's fine. Just let her go. Where are we now? Walter's Corner. Pioneer Settlement, 1848. Now, I have driven through here before, and really all that's here is that one farmhouse. So there you go. The 1848 settlement. That's where they settled, right there. House and a barn. Nothing else really developed here. Not too much traffic, which is good considering it's Sunday and all. A lot of people do their Sunday drives on these roads. We're heading out, baby. Heading out on them gravel roads. Heading out on them roads. Oh, I know it gets dodgier than this, but start easy, man. Start it easy. Where does that go? 11th line continues. Ooh, looks dodgy. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Whoa, back end slipped a little bit. That's okay. I was supposed to do that a little bit. As long as she don't go down, that's what matters. I felt that though. Well, I'm just gonna go right on the gravel here. See how it feels. I think I feel it move around a bit. It's not like, oh my god, I can't do this though. It's it's fine. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say, you're not on gravel, man. You're on a hard pack dirt. There's been patches. There's been patches of gravel. Been moving around a bit. And here comes a truck wants to come through here, I bet. Is he coming? All right, well, I get over. Let him go. Now well, the road continues. I don't know where it goes from here. I always turned on this road. Let's go! See where it goes. That's what this is all about, man. I mean, this is why I spent all this money on this bike and all these accessories. Watched all the videos. The only thing I haven't done is just gone out and done it. That's the whole purpose. I wanted to take it to the next level and explore some of these areas that you could never, you never had the guts to go see before. Well, here you go. Just leave it on the nice rain clouds to come in and try and ruin my day. But at least I got out and I got some gravel done. So I guess that about concludes this video for today. But uh, I know I didn't go on any hardcore stuff or hardcore back roads. I know those are pretty easy. Those are pretty washed out. And, but you know, it's, it's better to start easy and work your way up. But I think that's about it for today because uh, the rain's coming in and I better head back. I don't want to ride in this crap anymore. There we go. We're going into the rain. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we're going to see how these new tires do in the wet pavement. It's coming up. Alright, so you know the drill. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.